We're standing in a field of purple top today. This is a uh, perennial warm season grass. Botanical name is Tridens flavus. It uh, thrives in partial shade to full sun. It's uh, one that fills in voids uh, as other stuff declines. This field is one of our cool season seed production fields. And the wild rye is, is declining and the purple top is filling in does very well in, in this kind of weather and with limited moisture. Uh, you can see here we've had, uh, we've got plants with leaves 20, 20 inches long and, and very, very palatable to livestock. The purple top we're standing in uh, has great growth this summer with, uh, uh, we've been in drought through June and July with very limited moisture. Uh, it's came on and expressed itself with, with great growth and uh, filling the voids where the Virginia wall rye is declining. Can be eliminated with frequent overgrazing, but fills in very well on roadsides, um, bare areas. Uh, it's not one of the major big grasses, but it fills the voids very well in between. Great quality this time of year as some of the warm seasons other big warm seasons are beginning to bolt and get seed heads and decline in quality. Being one of the native plants and very adapted here is, uh, and, and, and it's pretty well adapted to the whole eastern United States and from Michigan to, according to the books, as far south as Argentina. So adapted to a wide range of uh, climates and soils. This is a grass one of the native warm season grasses that is compatible with fescue orchard grass, the introduced cool season uh, grasses. Uh, it comes on very well in hay fields that are hayed in late May to early July. It, uh, the cool seasons decline with, of course, with the summer temperatures and go dorm into dormancy. The, the purple top fills that void and comes on very well. It, it does very well in July, August into September if it's uh, grazed and kept vegetative. If not grazed, it'll bolt and have seed head emergence by late August. When diverse native stands of grass and wildflowers are managed well, it can be a great component with, with good value. It helps keep those nutrient flow going through the year with when you have all the diverse plants growing uh, through all seasons. So it um, helps eliminate that need for commercial fertilizer. Just for ID purposes, uh, this is um, one of the plants. You can see we have 20 inch long leaves. Uh, it, is, it is in uh, stage of bolting and, and seed head emergence. This is one of the seed heads. Uh, those do get kind of oily as uh, they mature. They excrete an oily substance and that's one reason another common name is grease grass. But anyway you can see it has it has the potential for lots of growth. I'm Rex Hamilton, a Hamilton native outpost. We welcome your comments on our video. We do have multiple others on our website. Welcome you to check those out.